everyone! We are now going to discuss about salaries and wages, employee benefits. Employee benefits. It covers remuneration other than basic pay. It covers vacation and sick leave, hospitalization and medical benefits, transportation allowance, meal allowance, clothing allowance, incentive pay for productivity like commission, overrides, bonuses, and profit sharing. Vacation pay. 13 vacation days with additional one vacation day every year starting on second year of service and convertible to cash at the end of the year. Maximum total vacation leave is 18 days. Sick leave. 12 days per year for the first two years of service. With additional one sick leave every year starting on second year of service, maximum total sick leave is 15 days. All unused leave days are convertible to cash in December of each year. Holiday pay. 12 nationwide holidays have been declared which are as follows. January 1, New Year's Day, Holy Thursday, near April or March, Good Friday, Araw ng Kagitingan, May 1, Labor Day, June 12, Independence Day, August 30, National Heroes Day, November 1, All Saints Day, November 2, All Souls Day, November 30, Bonifacio Day, December 25, Christmas Day, and December 30, Rizal Day. In lieu of vacation pay, Article 95 of the Labor Code provides service incentives leave for every employee who has rendered at least one year of service of five days with pay. Some benefits are taxable just like wages, salaries, commission, royalties, and etc. However, some benefits are non-taxable. Minimum wage earners with no holding tax shall be required on the statutory minimum wage or SMW of the minimum wage earner in the private or public sectors as defined in RR 298 as amended by RR 11 2018 including holiday pay, overtime pay, night shift differential, hazard pay, De minimis benefits not subject to withholding tax. Monetized unused vacation leave credits to employees not exceeding 10 days during the year. Monetized value of vacation and sick leave credits paid to the government officials and employees. Medical cash allowance to dependents of employees not exceeding 1,500 pesos per employee per semester of 250 pesos per month, rice subsidy of 2,000 pesos or one sack of 50 kilograms of rice per month amounting to not more than 2,000 pesos, uniform and clothing allowance not exceeding 6,000 pesos per annum, actual medical assistance, for example, medical allowance to cover medical and health care needs, annual medical or executive checkup, maternity assistance, and routine consultations not exceeding 10,000 pesos per annum. Laundry allowance not exceeding 300 pesos per month. Employees' achievement awards, for example, for length of service or safety achievement, which in the form of tangible personal property other than cash or gift certificate, with an annual monetary value not exceeding 10,000 pesos received by the employee under an established written plan, which does not discriminate in favor of highly paid employees. Gifts given during Christmas and major anniversary celebrations not exceeding 5,000 pesos per employee per annum. 
daily meal allowance for overtime work not exceeding 25% of the basic minimum wage. Benefits received by an employee by virtue of a collective bargaining agreement and productivity incentive schemes provided that the total annual monetary value received from both CBA and productivity incentive schemes combined do not exceed 10,000 pesos per employee per taxable year. Now here is the reference from Valdehuesa Naneth, Shendi P. Waminal, and Famila S. Zaging. Business Mathematics, Cagayan de Oro City, DepEd, Bureau of Learning's Resources. Thank you very much for watching and listening. Please subscribe to Analyze Math for more content.